Now that we started talking about uh, Shubman Gill and Prithvi Shaw as the youngsters who have now grown up in a sense and come to the senior side, you can't help but just cast your mind back to when they were uh, under-19 stalwarts because of course, parallelly, the under-19 World Cup is underway, India in the final, uh, awaiting the result of Bangladesh versus New Zealand and what a victory that uh, against Pakistan by 10 wickets. And we're just looking at India and the history of the uh, ICC Under-19 World Cup and you can see champions on four occasions. The yellow is uh, still in progress, qualified for the final and certainly looking favourites to win the tournament the way things have been. And uh, 2016 runners-up and uh, the other factor we are coming to, we mentioned one Rahul, the other Rahul, Rahul Dravid. The Rahul Dravid factor from 2016, he took charge. They basically lost one single game. Also, the final of 2016. Yeah, in, in 11 games, I think. They've lost uh, or they're unbeaten in, uh, in, in 11 games now, I think, yeah. 16-1. I think what happened under Rahul was that they got the same kind of preparation that the national teams were getting. And he told me once that with uh, Nagarkoti, Mavi and Porel, yeah. who were the three quicks last time that, that really the heart of India's win. Everyone talks about uh, Prithvi Shaw, Manjot Kalra, Shubman Gill, that combination. But the three quicks did really well. Said we actually looked after them like we would look after the national team quicks. Their workload was managed, their fitness was managed. He was actually very worried about what would happen when they went back to their first class teams and maybe they'd get overbowled or whatever. And of course, both Mavi and Nagar Koti were injured. Now, Porel has come out as, as the better of those three. So, I think the kind of planning that went into it was, was, was pretty much the kind of planning that went into the senior team. And you're seeing the results. Look how quickly. We're talking the, to the, the Under-19 World Cup, the last Under-19 World Cup, you saw that team up there. Two of those players are already in the test team, let alone in, in the white ball team. So, it's, it's fantastic. I read a lovely article by Michael Atherton recently, where he said India's Under-19 just look better prepared. And also, they've played so much more cricket. Yeah. They've played so yeah. much more cricket. So, they, they just look at it you know, at a different level. And you see what happened against Pakistan. Pakistan also produces very good Under-19 players. It was a, it was a one-sided walkover. walkover. But yeah, they've got an interesting history though because when things started in this great rivalry which we know in the senior World Cups is very skewed towards India. But have a look at uh, how it happened when uh, in the under-19, Pakistan actually dominated right through till 2010. Interestingly that 2010 when they lost was a low scoring game where Mayank Agarwal and KL Rahul were both dismissed in the first four deliveries of the game and where they are today. But again, after that, India winning everything. So, what I also want to check is how many big players have we had in the last seven, eight years who not come through under 19? There was a time when someone like Zach could, would not have played India under 19 and still have a great career as an India player. Now, I wonder if it's almost mandatory to come through the under 19 level. But to a, to a certain degree, but I think uh, the uh, the process is, is is very important. I think yeah. what what in uh, what under nineteen structure is is, uh, is is doing to Indian team and and what the processes have been said by uh, by by Rahul or BCCI in uh, yeah. in this case is actually bridging the gap. You know, and and that is so important. I feel that you know, if if you are if if you are playing at the international level, whatever thought process, the way of of communication which is which is there in the senior team, if if you can, if it if it can, it it can filter down to uh, your under nineteen team or or your first class structure, you know, which is which is having uh, physios, trainers, you know, to a certain degree. I think you know. Then, uh, as 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 a cricketer, you don't feel uh, feel different when you uh, when you make that progression from uh, first class or under nineteen cricket to the the, the main team or uh, to to the senior level or the highest level. I think you know that is something which has changed over the time. Uh, you know, in uh, in in our case, uh, it it never used to be like that. So there used to be a big gap between a first class and international. So when you go and uh, play your first match, those that anxiety is high. Right now, uh, that nervousness is there, but you know the the degree of that has has gone down. And the only reason is gone down is because the processes and the game is getting more and more professional. You know, you are getting the similar kind of access, so you you're not feeling uh, feeling different to that environment when you go uh, uh, before. Uh, a big stage, you know. So a big stage is as good as uh, say uh, under 19 uh, level. Also the exposure, you know. You you, you look at the coverage of uh, of under 19. You look at the game being hyped hyped up. 
equal importance is 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 given to that uh, understanding what level it is but you know in sure. terms of exposure in terms of uh, admiration of people people are talking about it people are, uh, are, are watching those games and that uh, that really gives you that sense of you know how it will be like when you are playing at the highest level and i think that is is something which has uh, worked in in uh, in strengthening the bench strength which we've been talking about reaching the gap is an excellent way of putting it actually look what's going to happen to these kids now if any one of them gets picked for kings 11 who is he who is he working with anil kumble if any one of them gets a chance to play at mumbai indians who is he working with now yashasvi jaiswal is going to go to rajasthan rajasthan royals who's the captain there steve smith is he going is he going to be just sitting and chatting batting with steve smith is uh, uh, kartik tyagi i don't know if if jofra archer is a much of a talker but there's jofra archer in that side there's ben stokes in that side so you're getting a chance to go with a young kid gets gets picked for sunrisers like priyam garg i think has been picked yeah. for sunrisers who's around the sunrisers team vivias lakshman so is he going to sit and chat batting he's a middle order player vivias lakshman middle order player just spending 6 weeks talking cricket with vivias lakshman they're going to go to another level in their understanding of the game that's another big factor that's going to come in that's going to help bridge that gap even more prithvi shaw went to delhi who was he sitting and chatting with in 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 the delhi environment so that makes a huge difference and i think we often tend to jump the gun because there was the flip side to that is you tell yourself okay these young kids they're going to get thrown ipl contracts at them with means big bucks how will they handle it but i think what's more important than the big bucks which obviously follow is yeah. what harsha just mentioned yeah. it's the exposure another... playing against and with the biggest names in the world as mentors coaches or players i've got absolutely i think it's... i don't know if he agrees <laughs> i'm saying you're getting a 2 crore contract right your 19 year old kid who suddenly got 2 crores oops what am i going to do with that yeah. money give them 30 lakhs and say i'll put 1.7 crores out of that in government of india tax free bonds that you'll get after 3 years your money is still coming to you but your money is not telling you let me go and buy a ferrari or or telling you that the number of runs you score will be judged as 2 crores divided by number of runs therefore your performance will be judged based <laughs> but we are the wrong generation to talk about that because we grew up in different times i mean if these kids uh, they're extraordinarily blessed they've got to learn to handle the money and the fame that comes with it so that it doesn't come in the way of their progress because india's poised i am saying it again and again poised to dominate world cricket india should not be number 1 in world cricket india should be number 1 number 2 number 3 in world cricket that is where that is the objective and i think yeah. india can do that if this talent is bridging the gap that he talked about it happens on a more consistent basis